Farewell. Peter died a few days later at age 92 on a soft autumn night while sitting on the porch of the sandstone farmhouse. Angelina was at his side as always. A few minutes before a singing bird had landed on the railing, the bird of time, and Peter had turned to Angelina and had said, I have to go now, I love you. Peter died a few days later, at age 92, on a soft autumn night, while sitting on the porch of the sandstone farmhouse. Angelina was at his side as always. A few minutes before, a singing bird had landed on the railing, the bird of time, and I had turned to Angelina and had said, I have to go now, I love you. And she'd whispered to him, come back to me, Peter. Peter smiled, finding serenity even in death, and breathed his last breath happy to the last as the angel of light came and blessed him. A few days later, at age 92, on a soft autumn night, while sitting on the porch of the sandstone farmhouse, Angelina was at his side. As always, a few minutes before a singing bird had landed on the railing, the bird of time and Peter had turned to Angelina and had said, Come back to me, Peter. Peter smiled, finding severity even in death, and breathed his last breath happy to the last. As the angel of light came and blessed him, the soft winds murmured a dirge as darkness fell, and the flowered Canterbury bells rang their funereal tune. Peter was buried two days later in the rural cemetery, and after all the eulogies had been said, and after the grave had been covered with dirt, and after everyone had gone home, only one person remained behind, Angelina, and she lay down on Peter's grave to die, ready to melt into the dust and intermingle with his throughout all eternity. After a day or so, she got up, or so it seemed, irresistibly drawn by the enchanting tune of a nightingale, and as such she became encased in the magic of its song, as a sheen was formed around her into a transparent dome, she protected therein from the elements. From this invisible and charmed haven, she could again see into the life of things, as she watched Old Autumn making his last rounds, and she soon saw the pine trees throwing down their cones as winter came. The elves themselves, now visible to her, lay down to sleep, cuddled into the fluffy beds of wild clematis. The snow fell for several weeks, although the winter blossoms still sprouted on the blackthorns, and then the nightingale, having transferred its power to Angelina's encasement, impaled itself on the thorn, turning the blossoms red with the life that fled, and all the while Angelina could see the spot where Peter lay buried, like some kind of flower bulb, awaiting a new birth in some far and distant spring. later in the rural cemetery and after all the eulogies had been said and after the grave had been covered with dirt and after everyone had gone home only one person remained behind angelina and she lay down on peter's grave to die ready to melt into the dust and intermingle with him After a day or so she got up, or so it seemed, irresistibly drawn by the enchanting tune of a nightingale, and as such she became encased in the magic of its song, as a sheen was formed around her into a transparent dome, she protected therein from the elements. From this invisible and charmed haven, 
she could again see into the life of things, as she watched old Autumn making his last rounds, and she soon saw the pine trees throwing down their cones as winter came. The elves themselves, now visible to her, lay down to sleep, cuddled into the fluffy beds of wild clematis. After a day or so, she got up a so it seemed, irresistibly drawn by the enchanting tune of a nightingale. And as such she became encased in the magic of its song, as a sheen was formed around her into a transparent dome. She protected therein from the elements. From this invisible enchantment, she could again see into the life of things as she watched old Autumn making his last round. And she soon saw the pine trees throwing down their cones as winter came. The elves themselves, now visible to her, lay down to sleep, cut into the fluff. The snow fell for several weeks, although the winter blossoms still sprouted on the blackthorns, and then the nightingale, having transferred its power to Angelina's encasement, impaled itself on the thorn, turning the blossoms red with the life that fled, and all the while Angelina could see the spot where Peter lay buried, like some kind of flower bulb, awaiting a new birth in some far and distant spring. Then, for a while, her spirit soared, like that of her angel namesake, as she met Peter's soul at the gate of heaven, where he told her as he entered, I'll be back, your love will bring me back, find me as I found you. Back down to earth, having been returned to her enchanted shell, Angelina felt the love he'd left behind, and it brought her warmth and comfort in her apparently endless vigil, the time moving slowly at first. However, soon the months seemed to pass by in an instant as all the while the bird's song yet reverberated within her. The snow fell for several weeks, although the winter blossoms still sprouted on the black thorns. And then the nightingale, having transferred its power to Angelina's encasement, impaled itself on the thorn, turning the blossoms red with the life that fled. All the while, Angelina could see the spot where Peter lay buried like some kind of flower ball awaiting a new birth in some far and distant spring. For a while, her spirit soared like that of her angel namesake as she met Peter's soul at the gate of heaven, where he told her as he entered, I'll be back, your love will bring me back. Find me as I found you, back down to earth, having been returned to her. Enchanted shell, Angelina felt the love he left behind, and it brought her warmth and comfort in her apparently endless vigil. The time moving slowly at first. But 
soon the months seem to pass by And an instant is all the while the bird's song Yet reverberated within her sea Seasons came and went, the landscape changing around her as in time-lapse photography. Trees sprouted in the fields like grass, the sun raced through the sky in a perpetual afterglow of a golden arch. Even the thousand-year-old yew trees grew. Weeds covered the flower gardens and grew up through the porch of the old sandstone farmhouse. Each day Angelina grew younger in her netherworld, the aches and pains of the years falling away like so much chaff. Seasons came and went the landscape changing around her as in time lapse photography. Like grass, the sun rays through the sky in a perpetual afterglow of a golden arch. Even the thousand year old yew trees grew, weeds covered the flower gardens and grew up through the porch of the old sandstone farmhouse. Each day Angelina grew younger in her nether world, the aches and pains of the years falling away like so much chaff. At age 24 she was released from her crystal dome and stepped out into a cold white winter. Surely all the world was dead, but suddenly, a snowdrop flower appeared in the heat of a tombstone. And with a wave of a wand an early spring began, Angelina sprouting back into life like some kind of winter jasmine. She was released from her crystal dome and stepped out into a cold white winter. Surely all the world was dead, but suddenly a snowdrop flower appeared in the heat of a tombstone as a fairy stood over her grave. Tis not dead, the fairy said. And with a wave of a wand and early spring began Angelina sprouting back into life Like some kind of winter jasmine S4, tis not dead. The elves then blew their pipes to awaken all of nature. Double daisies of double love sprouted all over the rural cemetery in the memory of Peter and Angelina's love. The elves then blew their pipes to awaken all of nature. Double daisies of double love sprouted all From the one who had died and given his fragrance to the night. Yesterday had turned into yesteryear, to decades had passed. Angelina had to find Peter. She could feel his living presence out there somewhere in the world. 
Not knowing where to go at first, she let her instincts guide her, just as his had led him to Rhinecliff to find her. The crow landed at her feet, and she followed it to the old train station. The trains now running magnetically 100 feet off the ground, in order to allow people better access to the pure clean river. She boarded a southbound transport, and got off at Fishkill for reasons unknown. In Fishkill, which was now a borough of New York City, she walked through the crowds, arriving at an electronic art center, where a meeting was going on. Angelina had to find Peter She could feel his living presence Out there somewhere in the world Not knowing where to go At first she let her instincts guide her just as his hand led him to Ryan Cliff to find her. The crow landed at her feet and she followed it to the old train station. The train's now running magnetically 100 feet off the ground in order to allow people help people better access to the pure Southbound transport and got off at Fishkill for reasons unknown. In Fishkill, which was now a borough of New York City, she walked through the crowds, arriving at an electronic art center where a meeting was going on. She She stepped inside and immediately felt an electricity and a chemistry emanating from a man who was painting at an electronic easel, one who suddenly stopped and looked at her intently. Peter looked a bit different than before, younger, of course, but then she herself looked in a mirror and saw that she too was younger and a bit different looking. She hesitated, sure, but still nervous, and then walked toward him as all the room seemed to watch her. Where is that scene that you're painting, that old farmhouse? I'm not sure, I've never been there. The scene just sort of keeps coming to me as an artistic vision. It seems as if somehow I've always known of it. That retreat is the sandstone farmhouse where we used to live, Peter. I'll show it to you this afternoon. Angelina, you've returned and you've found me. I knew you'd come back someday. She stepped inside and immediately felt electricity and a mating from a man who was painting at an electronic one who suddenly stopped and looked at her intently Peter looked a bit different than before Younger, of course, but then she herself looked in a mirror And saw that she too was younger And a bit different look, she hesitated Sure, but still nervous and then walked toward him As all the room seemed to watch her where is that scene that you're painting? That old farmhouse, she asked him, I'm not sure he answered I've never been there, the scene just sort of keeps coming to me As an artistic vision It seems as if somehow I've always known of it It is the sandstone farmhouse where we Turned and you found me I knew you'd come back someday It's been a long time We are the triumph Of life, love and being I feel so alive, so invigorated, so satisfied, so loving 
We're young again, she answered, younger than ever. Where is the scene that you're painting? That old farmhouse, she asked him, I'm not sure, he answered. I've never been there, the scene just sort of keeps coming to me as an artistic vision. It seems as if somehow I've always known of it. Yeah. 